Hi, me again. Do you feel like you've watched literally everything there is to watch on the internet? Yeah, I do too. But I've got a few cracking ideas here of things you might not have seen before that you can watch this weekend. Let's take a look. Ty Brides, Louis Theroux on Documentary Heaven. Now, Louis Theroux has been knocking about for ages, and this was one of his early ones, the Ty Bride one. And it's legendary. I mean, there's internet forums and discussion groups on Facebook dedicated just to this one episode. People get obsessed with it. And it is good. It's really, really good. You know what Louis is like? He's really dry, and he gets to the bottom of everything. And uh, it's just interesting, the characters he meets in this show while he's in Thailand looking at the kind of men who want a Thai Bride. And it's bloody bloody brilliant. Give it a watch. I think it's great. I don't know what my obsession is with these mail order bride shows. Don't know, but I like them. That's all I'm going to say. Grey Wolf, Hitler's Escape to Argentina on YouTube. Now this is a film based on a book about the Nazis that fled Germany at the end of the Second World War to Argentina. It's well documented. Everybody knows that happened. But these guys found some evidence to show that maybe Hitler was in that group of Nazis that made it to Argentina at the Second World War and set up shop there. And this is the story of that and the evidence that he could find. And I tell you what, I went in thinking it was going to be a bit rubbish, but it was actually bloody interesting. And, you know, whether you believe it or not at the end is your own personal choice, but it was well worth watching. Bloody interesting it was. And it's a free movie in HD on YouTube. Give it a watch. I tell you what, it was good. Easiest self-haircut 2020. Cut your own hair. Yeah, I admit, I had to do it. I had no choice. It was getting a bit out of control. So I got myself a 10 quid set of clippers, set myself up in a bathroom with my laptop, and I started. Then the girlfriend busts in, and she says, what are you doing? I said, I'm cutting my own hair, love. She goes, no, I get that. Why are you filming it? Why is there a GoPro in here? She goes, if you film that, you're going to fuck it up on purpose to put it on the internet to get cheap laughs. Yeah, she knows me quite well. So she took that, and then she just let me get on with it, and this was what I ended up with. Better than it was. Not brilliant, no problem. I'll be back at the barber soon enough, I'm sure. But you need to cut your own hair. It's a good little tutorial. Give him a watch. It was quite worth watching. I found it funny anyway. Married to the Eiffel Tower on Documentary Heaven. I like Documentary Heaven. You always find something good on there. And this one popped up for me the other day. And I remember seeing this years ago. I think it was on Channel 4 or Channel 5, years and years ago. And it's about these women who suffer with a mental disorder called objectophilia where they fall in love and want to have sexual relations with inanimate objects, which obviously many women have these inanimate objects in their bedside drawers, but we're talking proper stuff here. One of them, the, the main person that we follow, has got a bit of a thing for the Eiffel Tower and the Berlin Wall, weirdly. And uh, another one, she had uh, a weird obsession with this fairground ride, and she's madly in love with it. And she tries to shag it at one point, and it was interesting to watch let's put it like that so if you like weird stuff i like weird stuff you like me you like weird stuff you're gonna love this give it a watch the barrier on netflix now this is a spanish show set in madrid it's dubbed over in english so if you don't mind the lip sync being out it's actually pretty watchable it's set about 25 years into the future and there's been a pandemic which has caused everybody to be in lockdowns and stuff i mean it makes you wonder where they get some of these story ideas from doesn't it and this is a uh, the dystopian future that Madrid is in now and what's happening there. We're actually quite enjoying it. And as long as you can get over the lip sync thing being out, it's well worth watching actually. We're really enjoying it. And uh, you know, this could be what happens, you never know. What happened to America Online by LGR on YouTube? Now LGR is one of my favorite YouTube channels. You have to be a little bit techy, a little bit geeky maybe to fully appreciate it because that's the kind of stuff that he does, you know, but I am, so that's fine. And he's got a series on there called Tech Tales, where he tells you the history of techie stuff. And this is the story of America Online. I think everybody must have had some experience with America Online at some point. Either it was their first way to get on the internet or the messenger thing that was like legendary. And this is the story of how they went from nothing to being the biggest of them all down to where they are now, which isn't much to do on the internet. So uh, yeah, well worth a look. And he's got a few other videos in this Tech Tales in this Tech Tales series that he's done. Uh, Motorola's another interesting one. The story of John McAfee's another interesting one. I really like LGR and he makes some good stuff. So there'll be links below you can find it or just bash LGR into the search box up the top. You'll soon find him, it's worth a watch. Me and my sugar daddy on demand five. Yeah, stumbled across this one the other day while we were eating dinner and I see a title like that, I'm gonna click play. 
Now, it was two episodes. Second one was crap. I wouldn't really bother with it. First one was pretty good. It's these women, and uh, they're being looked after by older gentlemen who pay them an allowance for their time. Now, they say that it's just dinner and drinks and company. You believe that? I bloody don't. But it was a good watch. And one of them was quite a pretty thing as well. It was well worth watching. It was a bit of an eye-opener, and it was a bit funny. So, yeah, give it a watch. See what you think. I liked it. Janice Joplin, The Final 24 on YouTube. Now, Final 24 is very similar to that autopsy show that you find on Channel 5, which is also very good. And it just delves into the last 24 hours of a certain celebrity's life and the build-up and the events in her past that brought them to that situation where they sadly die. Now, I didn't really know a lot about Janice Joplin, to be honest, but it came up, so I watched it. And you know what? What a bloody interesting woman, you know, and seemed like a very nice woman as well, and a very sad loss. So if you like this sort of thing or you like Janis Joplin, give this a watch. It is a good show. There's a few other celebrity versions of this on YouTube that you'll find as well if you just type in Final 24. But they're worth a watch. They're well-made things. And it's all available for free on YouTube. My Boyfriend, The Sex Tourist Venezuela on YouTube. Another old Channel 4 show that's popped up on, on YouTube here. And uh, it's quite entertaining, this one. Now, this um, tells the story of a holiday resort in Venezuela where they offer all-inclusive holidays to men. And when I say all-inclusive, I mean all-inclusive. You get to pick a woman when you get to the resort and you can keep her for the length of your stay or you can chop her in every 24 hours unless you've got a complaint and then the management will talk to you about it. What the fuck? This actually exists? Yeah, it does actually exist. And it was quite an interesting watch. Not just because of the dirty old men on an all-inclusive holiday that we're probably all now thinking about, but you see it from the girl's point of view as well, and it makes you a bit sad from that point, that perspective. But it was an interesting watch. Uh, I think the resort's closed down now, so there's no point looking for it. But he does have another one. I don't know where it is, though. Couldn't find it. But if you know where it is, let me know, because uh, if I'm ever single, I could do with a holiday in the sun. Autopsy, the last hours of Marilyn Monroe on Channel 5. And as the title says, it's the story of the last hours of... Marilyn Monroe. There's quite a few episodes in this autopsy show that they have going through the, the final sort of times of, of these celebrities' lives. And I find Marilyn Monroe the saddest one because I thought she was one of those, probably the most beautiful woman that's that's ever lived, apart from my mum and my missus, in case they watch this. So, um, yeah, it's, it was a good watch, and it's just nice to see Marilyn Monroe sometimes, isn't it? So, if you like this sort of thing, give it a watch. There's loads of other celebrities on there as well that you can watch. But the Marilyn Monroe... I think it's my favourite because I like Marilyn, she's lovely. Lucy on Netflix. Now this is an action movie featuring Scarlett Johansson, which is reason enough to watch it, obviously. And it's got a bit of a different premise to some of the other action movies. The way it starts off is quite interesting. And I really like the movie. I thought the ending was a bit odd, but the movie was really good. Loads of action in it and Scarlett Johansson. Salt on Netflix. Now, this is an action movie featuring Angelina Jolie, and it's probably one of her best performances, I think, in an action film for her anyway. Really good. She's a Russian spy in it, and she kicks a lot of ass. and it's a bloody good action movie, this one. I'm not the biggest fan of Angelina Jolie, personally. I don't really get it, but she is really good in this, and it's actually a bloody good film. Bloody good film. Give it a watch. Well, I think that about does it for this week's recommendations of what you can watch. And don't forget, all of these you can watch without a TV license. No problem at all. You don't need a TV license to watch them. Some of them you may well need a Netflix subscription though, obviously. Now, if you like this sort of thing, you want some more recommendations next week, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost anything to do that. Hit the like button. Just let me know you enjoyed the video. Leave your comments below with any suggestions that you've got of what I can talk about for the next week's show. Thanks for watching.